Well, here we are at uh, Clear Sky. We've just put in two weeks of intensive planting. Uh, it's gone very well. You're seeing the final stages of the food forest in this initial plant. Uh, all the crew has worked really well together. Uh, this is a very exciting stage. We're probably one of the first cold climate food forests in the world. So uh, this is a monumental event and I'm really looking forward to see how this project proceeds over the next few years. Uh, we've chosen very carefully for real cold climate cultivars and selections and so I think the odds are pretty good that we're going to have a good success rate here. We've got a lot of different species, a lot of different cultivars, so I think the odds of coming off with a good crop are pretty high. So we first came across food forests in probably 2008. We were travelling through Grand Forks and we met Richard Walker at his place there, which was a three and a half acre food forest, 25 year old food forest, really established, amazing, full of fruit, beautiful, lush. And um, Michelle was with me, she basically fell in love with it and, and kind of was the impetus for um, getting a food forest going here at Clear Sky. But it took us a few years, um, and uh, in the meantime we developed a farm selling, growing and selling cash crops like garlic um, to pay the bills and to get something going. And then with, with the aim that in the longer run a food forest would um, develop over time for a more longer term plan. So anyway, in, uh, in 2012 we got funding from AIDI, Agri Agroforestry Industry, Industry Development Initiative, BC. And uh, so we've been able to put in a one acre demonstration project. So I hope one day we have this big flourishing food forest and I hope that there's more food forests all over Canada and all over the US and all over the world. Because um, I think it's one of the few sustainable ways of growing food. And we need more ways to grow food. So, what is a food forest? A food forest is an approach to growing useful plants that mimics the structure and dynamics of a natural forest. It's a multi-layered design where large trees provide an overcanopy all the way down to a vital biodynamic soil, which is itself an intact living food web. A food forest is self-sustaining and regenerating. In a well-designed food forest, all the plants serve to support other plants in useful ways. Instead of expending large amounts of energy to mow, plow, or spray, we allow the food forest to provide all those functions itself. In return, we can extract food, fuel, fibers, medicinals, and much more. Thus, low inputs versus high output yield, self-regeneration, and life-supporting growing practices make food foresting an ideal approach to sustainable agriculture. Plus, a forest is simply a beautiful place to spend time in community and reconnect with them.